Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and would like to receive notifications of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe. In my fast cooking system, a stir fry is an important contribution and I continue to try to make improvement. Uh, I have learned over the years a lot from a master chef who are excellent in stir fry in a restaurant setting. Uh, I have such an uh, opportunity about 20 years ago uh, when I met a master uh, chef and we uh, were sitting next to each other uh, on the bus uh, during the tour. Uh, during our conversation, he has taught me uh, what is known as walk chi or breath of the walk and I share uh, our conversation on this video. Uh, he told me that in order to walk chi, uh, you need to have a high heat capacity stove such as the one you find in a restaurant. But he also told me that it not necessarily have to be the case uh, because you could achieve that in a home kitchen as well uh, with some compensation. Several years later, I met up with my cousin and I will call her Marge for the purpose of this video. Uh, Marge uh, is an excellent cook and she showed me how you could achieve wok chi uh, in home kitchen. After I learned that technique from her, I could not believe how much difference it makes, particularly in cooking vegetables. Uh, you can take a look at this video of the technique that Marge showed me how to achieve wok chi uh, in a home kitchen. Uh, before I start doing the demonstration, uh, let's briefly define what is wok chi. Now, wok chi is defined as that the vegetable or whatever the food ingredients that you cook uh, will achieve flavor molecule on the surface through a chemical reaction known as the Maillard reaction. And secondly, is that uh, uh, the heat of the wok should be hard enough that cause caramelization of the food ingredients. And then lastly, that uh, it should create charring and give a, a slight smoke flavor to the food ingredients. And that is what will achieve what is known as the ultimate dish. And now today uh, I'm going to uh, try to create these characteristics in this dish, which is a, a green bean dish cooked with onion and mushroom. Uh, both my wife and I love green beans. Uh, so this actually is a dish that we cook for our dinner one night. To cook this dish, I'm going to use my uh, 14 inch Cuisina standard steel wok. I really enjoy using this wok because of its flexibility. Uh, I actually use it for almost everything uh, I cook in the kitchen. Uh, I'm first going to spot season the wok and I'm going to use my spot seasoning method. And if you are not familiar with this method, you can take a look at this video. Uh, the method actually is very simple. Uh, I heat up the wok and then I add about two tablespoons of canola oil uh, just to barely cover the bottom of the wok. I heat the oil until it starts to smoke slightly and then I turn the heat down. And I let it to smoke for another 15 seconds. This is the time when the wok is being seasoned. Uh, I turn the heat back up to high because I want the wok as hot as possible before I add about two cups of green bean. Uh, one mistake that I have made uh, for this particular dish is that uh, my green bean is a little bit more wet than I would like to. I should have the green bean as dry as possible because any moisture that you add to the wok uh, will reduce the temperature of the oil and you want the oil to be as hot as possible. The green bean takes a little bit of time to cook, therefore I stir fry the green bean for about 30 to 40 seconds uh, to make sure it achieves the texture that I would like. I try to cook the green bean to about maybe halfway done. And next I add about uh, one cup of sliced red onion. I like red onion because of its sweet flavor and because of that it will cause caramelization in the dish. Also, I add the onion a little bit later in comparison to the green bean because I want to maintain the flavor and texture of the onion so that it will not disappear uh, into the dish. And next, I'm going to add some black bean. Uh, my wife loves black bean. A uh, black bean has great flavor and it can uh, provide the extra flavor to the green bean in addition to the seasoning that I'm going to add. I'm going to fry the black bean slightly. So what I uh, did is that I cleared some space in the middle of the wok uh, before I add the black bean directly to the wok. Uh, as you can tell, everything looks really good. Uh, the green bean has taken on a little bit of brownish color, means that it has been charred in the wok. Uh, that will create flavor on the green bean. Uh, I'm going to add the mushroom at the end uh, because uh, I want to retain the texture and the flavor of the mushroom. I also add the mushroom uh, in a size of a, like a chunk so this will uh, retain its texture better than if I add them in thin slices. 
a mushroom suck up oils readily. So it is important for me to add a little bit more oil to make sure that there's enough oil to coat the surface of the mushroom. And next, I'm going to season the dish with my uh, basic seasoning mix. Uh, the whole idea of my seasoning mix is to enhance the natural flavor of the ingredients. If you'd like to know more about the components in the seasoning mix, uh, you can take a look at this video. Okay, now the dish is done. I transferred it to a uh, serving plate. The total cook time of this dish is only about 4 minutes. As in stir frying is a continual process, uh, I would like to compress the video to show you the whole cooking process from beginning to the end, so you can appreciate how each step link with each other. It is important to stir fry the green bean first because it takes longer to cook than other uh, ingredients in this dish. The slight charring of the green bean give it very nice flavor and texture. Uh, frying the black bean uh, is a good way to do this because uh, it will allow the flavor of the black bean more contained within uh, the black bean itself. So when you bite into the black bean, it gives you a burst of flavor. Uh, the onion added the sweetness to the dish, and the mushroom also provide an interesting variations in texture and flavor. Uh, this in many ways uh, is a representation of my uh, flavor chasing aspect of my uh, fast cooking system. The whole goal is to design a dish uh, not only through the flavor you add to it, but how the natural flavor of the ingredients uh, in combination with each other to provide that culinary experience. By seeing the cooking process in its uh, continuity, uh, you can appreciate how each step is uh, related to each other. And it also, uh, I think, provides an emphasis the importance of uh, prepping in advance, how you should have everything right at your fingertip before you start to cook, uh, because then you can go through the whole motion without any interruptions. A stir frying is very different from other types of cooking because it's very interactive. You continually interact with the food ingredients uh, in the wok. Uh, you can make changes, you can make adjustments on the fly. And for this reason, a stir fry is a flexible and also very intuitive cooking technique. And this is the reason that uh, why stir fry cooking is not a good recipe based approach in cooking uh, because you can constantly make changes and that's the reason why template based cooking is ideal for stir frying. Uh, once you have mastered the basic techniques in stir fry and once you have advanced prepping with all the ingredients available at your fingertip and you, once you have known enough templates, you have tremendous flexibility to achieve the flavor that you are looking for and ultimately you will become your very best cook. Therefore, by uh, spending maybe an extra uh, couple hours in the beginning of the week, uh, you can save a lot of time in your cooking uh, through this fast cooking system. In fact, I truly believe this cooking system is very suitable for modern lifestyle. And you can use this technique to cook any type of food that you want, not just restricted to uh, Asian food or Chinese food. And then once you master how to achieve wok chi uh, in your stir fry, you will make your food taste amazing, particularly vegetables. You will entirely change how vegetable might appeal to you uh, as you compared it in the past. My fast cooking system with its four attributes in uh, flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking has entirely changed the way how I cook. But more than that, it also changed the way how I live and I look at food also differently. Now I look at food both from the standpoint from uh, health as well as from emotional standpoint. And at the end, I find that I really have a relationship with food that is much more healthier and mutually beneficial. Uh, because I love the uh, flavorful nature of my food, I become more uh, involved and more concerned about how food are being grown and uh, how it affects the environment. So overall, I think I have created a sense of wellness just from a personal standpoint, but also from a greater environmental standpoint. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click the like icon below because that will help me to expand my audience base. Uh, I'm posting my video regularly, usually about one every day. And if you'd like to receive notifications of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.